What is up everybody, AJ here, and in today's video, we are gonna see how the 2014 MacBook Air fares in 2021. Now, aside from you guys hearing my thoughts of the 2014 MacBook Air, we also have a very special guest here today, my beautiful girlfriend, Ashley, who's gonna tell us her thoughts on her seven-year-old MacBook. Hi, everyone. <laughs> now, there's been a lot of hype around Apple and the new M1 chips and what they're doing with the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. But today isn't about the new. Today's actually about celebrating the old and one of the most iconic Apple designs, the second generation MacBook Air. I think what makes this design really iconic is the fact that it was released back in 2010 and it was finally discontinued almost a decade later in 2019. My MacBook Air is the early 2014 MacBook. It has a fourth gen i5 processor, four gigs of RAM and 128 gigs SSD. So the base model when it came out. It also has the latest macOS fixer, meaning it is still supported by Apple. The first thing I want to touch on in this review though is the design of the MacBook Air, because if you keep the same design for almost a decade, there must be something special about it. And Ash, in the seven years that you've had the MacBook Air, what do you think about its style and its design? I've always loved the design of the Apple, nice and simple, sleek, and especially the Apple logo on the front. Yeah, the front and the back depends no, on back. which way you're looking at it. I gotta say that back at university, you knew people were on a MacBook, even mm -hmm. from on the other side of the room, yeah. because they'd open the lid and you'd just see that glowing emblem um, of the Apple logo. And I actually think it's a great design piece that I'd love to see bring back in the newer MacBook Airs, the iPads, and mm -hmm. even having a little glowing Apple logo on your iPhone would, in my opinion, look pretty cool. I actually think even though this computer is almost 10 years old in this design, it still looks, it doesn't look out of place even by today's standards because it is quite thin. It's really minimal from the outside. Um, you pick it up and it's all, it's only 1.3 kilos, so it's still really lightweight. But then of course there are some telltale signs that let you know that this computer is definitely aged and definitely dated. Going around the body of the Mac, you notice two USB 3 ports a headphone jack, a full-size SD card slot, Thunderbolt 1, and the magnetic Apple MagSafe 2 connector. Um, a lot of which is now discontinued and removed from a lot of Apple products. I mean, if you look at the full-size USB port, that's gone with just USB-C. The headphone jack, that's pretty much gone from most of their lineup. The full-size SD card, you don't get that in their 13-inch laptops anymore either. And MagSafe has been discontinued for the use of USB-C charging. Out of all of these, I really think that MagSafe or magnetic charging cables is the one that I would love to see brought back because I just think having a magnetic charger on any of your device makes it easier, it's more simple, and it's actually a lot safer because people won't be tripping over that cord. So Ashley, what do you mainly use the MacBook for? Um, I use it mostly for searching on the internet. Yeah. Like um, checking emails, writing emails, um, watching YouTube. Yeah. Who do you watch on YouTube? Mostly yours. <laughs> of course. So do you guys, right? Um, watching Netflix. Like really a simple stuff. So how would you say this compares to one of, you know, some of the newer laptops we have around the house? Um, I couldn't tell any difference. Um, it's quick, runs quick. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't complain of anything. Yeah, and look, I actually have to agree with her. For when I grab Ashley's Mac and I use it to quickly check um, the internet, you know, just jump on whether it's YouTube, Facebook, messaging. Um, and I think the saving grace for this laptop has to be the fact that it has that SSD inside of it. Now, of course, it only has four gigs of RAM, so multitasking doesn't really work that well. Um, but if you're doing a few light tasks, that SSD just keeps it firing through. And I think that's what saved the MacBook Air from being obsolete. And the fact that Apple still supports it with the latest OS of Big Sur um, sort of just shows the fact that even Apple thinks that for a basic device, it's still good for a lot of people out there. Although you spoke about Netflix, right? When I use your MacBook Air, the one thing that stands out to me and that really tells me it's a dated device has to be the screen. Yeah, now, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you'd, that. You'd agree with that? I mean, the, the screen resolution on here is 1440 by 900. Mm -hmm. So you're not even looking at a full HD screen. Mm -hmm. um, and things to me just look really pixelated when watching things on YouTube. But also the color accuracy of that screen 
is really subpar from today's standards. So if you're gonna do anything, even if you're gonna do light photo or video editing, your color accuracy is gonna be really off. So when you publish or print that, I wouldn't recommend using this screen because you're not getting anywhere near the accurate colors. But that's my thoughts on the screen. As she said a little bit, yeah, you can agree on the screen, but what do you think about the, the computer screen? Um, for checking emails using, in, using the internet, I don't see any problem. But when I watch Netflix or like videos, YouTube videos, it's definitely, the screen quality is definitely um, worse than Surface. That's because I've got a couple Surface devices around the house. Um, glad you said that. I'd be upset <laughs> if you actually said the opposite. But yeah, I think one of the biggest things for me is that the screen on the second gen MacBook Air is just really dated and the color accuracy is really off. The other big thing has to be the size of the bezels. I mean, it's bigger than my thumb all the way around the device. And if you're like a lot of people now, you're working or studying from home, with a lot of people working and learning from home, the webcam is basically how we're interacting with our colleagues and our friends at school. Um, and this is definitely a below average webcam by today's standards. Have you ever noticed that your computer gets hot or that, that it gets noisy? Well, um, when it comes to noise, I haven't experienced any noise, but it can get a little bit warm yeah. when, when it's in charge or when I watch like videos. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, no, I haven't noticed anything. It's really, really good for um, seven years old computer. One of the things that people are concerned about and have questions about when it comes to older computers is the battery life. Ash. What do you think and how have you found the battery life of your MacBook Air? Um, the battery life is not the best considering it's quite old. Would you say, how many hours do you think you get out of it if you had it unplugged mm. and you're watching YouTube? I'll say four hours. About four hours? Yeah. Yeah, I actually think when I, when I watch Ash using the MacBook and I see it unplugged, I think for a computer that is that old and the fact that she gets, you know, four hours or so usage um, from this computer, I actually think it's pretty good for the age. Mm. So Ash, when it comes to your MacBook Air, what are some of your favorite features about this computer? Um, because this Apple product, it syncs up with my iPhone. Um, so I can use iMessage and photos. It's really practical. Um, also, I love the operating system. Yeah. I've recently updated um, this software and it looks like it feels like it's like a new computer like completely um yeah um no i i agree in terms of the software and again that's because apple still supports this thing it has the latest operating system which means you do get some really good updates so i've been doing a bit of research looking at facebook marketplace ebay and this 2014 macbook air i5 4 gig 128 gig ssd they're still selling for about four to five hundred dollars second hand which has really held its value over the past seven years. Mm. Ash, if someone said to you, hey, I've got four or 500 bucks and I'm looking at buying a computer, would you recommend them to go and buy a secondhand MacBook Air like yours? Would you recommend them to get a new computer? Um, I'll highly recommend having a MacBook Air. I mean, um, especially if you're gonna use it for emails, like watching YouTube or Netflix and simple stuff. Yeah, it's perfect. I think it's definitely worth it. The fact that this thing still holds its value around four or five hundred dollars, even though it is so old, just sort of shows that how popular these computers were and how popular they still are. I think for a five hundred dollar computer, you're getting, like Ash said, some really good performance if you're just doing basic tasks like emails and Netflix. But would I recommend it for five hundred dollars? Well, if that's your budget and you want to get yourself an Apple computer, I'd say you really couldn't go past it. So there you guys have it. That is an extremely long-term review of the 2014 MacBook Air and how it fares in 2021. I think what we've come to the conclusion of is that it's got a great design. You've got the illuminated icon logo at the back. In terms of processing power, that SSD allows it to keep up for some light tasks such as YouTube and iMessaging, but the screen is the biggest letdown. And I mean, if you had $500, Ash, would you buy this computer secondhand? I would. Cool. So I can't argue with that. Hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button here. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. 
I wanted to say subscribe to it.